Hello YouTube friends, I am Pam and I heart save me money. Welcome back to my channel. If I sound a little weird, it's because I think I'm getting that cold my daughter had last week. She was sick for three days and I th think I'm starting to get um, a little bit of a virus here, but I uh, hope it doesn't end up being anything too bad. Right now I feel fine, I just sound a little weird. I did my weekly shopping today. I had a little bit more time and some money, so I did things a little differently than what I normally do. I went to three different stores. And I'm, what I'm going to do today is show you around what I got a little bit and then go back and insert the prices instead of me reading them off, all off individually. My first stop was Hy-Vee. I don't normally shop there, but they had a really good BOGO sale this week, and I was really excited to mainly get some of the meat from a bundle package that they had and toilet paper. I don't recall ever seeing toilet paper on BOGO in our area. So I ended up spending $61.00. And 26 cents and I saved over 40 just by using the BOGO promotion and the only coupon I had was on the crackers on the end I had a dollar off to a Keebler but let's see what we have here some lunch meat juice I have another one of these juices hanging around somewhere so that was in the BOGO to the paper cake mix juice meat the meat was the promotion was you buy this bundle for $30 and then you get $20 worth of beef patties for free. So that was really good. A lot of different things in there. Pork chops, brats, chicken, and some more beef. It looks like juice, bag of chicken, boneless, skinless, chips, coffee on BOGO, club crackers on BOGO. So this is what I got at hy -Vee. I'll be back with more goodies. Thank you. Okay, then next I went to Cub, which is where I go each week. At Cub, I spent $56.81. I saved $24.70 on coupons. One was a coupon that came in the mail for $5 off $55. And I had another store coupon for making bananas, $0.29 cents a pound. I think that was up to two pounds. And um, I did have a couple other coupons, $2 off the PERT and $3 off each one of the kids Advil and a dollar off Pop-Tarts. I believe that that's all I had for coupons there this week. And I still saved um, that much money by just shopping sales. So what I got was water in the bag is my husband's favorite waters. Just the spring water, chocolate milk, napkins, eggs. I missed the boat on eggs. hy had the lowest price, 88 cents, which was um, Actually, less than Cub and Aldi's, which is the other store I went to. The Pert, some baked um, frozen meat items, sausage, chicken nuggets, and meatballs. Picked up uh, the other cold medicine for myself. Some tortillas. Bag of Super Value brand chips, essentially every day. Yogurt, I got the yogurt there because it's my daughter's favorite kind. And some chip dip. And M&M. M&M's were the Friday freebie, and I was surprised that they're the larger size. I thought it was going to be the smaller size bag, but that's what I got this week at Cub. Next up is Aldi, my final store, and again, I'm going to go ahead and insert the prices on the video. Thank you. So, you two friends, so my last shopping trip stop was to Aldi's. I spent $51.18. Could have saved a little bit more money if I would have remembered to bring my own bags, but I did have to buy a couple. So I decided to start keeping a couple in the vehicle. So when I do stop there, I have them. I don't get a chance to run over there very often, but it is a good store to go to if you don't keep on or have time to keep on. You can still get really good deals on a, on pretty much everything that they have there. It's The prices are really good. So I'm gonna just show you around real quick what I got and I'll go back and um, insert prices like I said on the other videos. So I picked up some granola bars snack items, looking for some crackers and things like that for kid lunches. Hoping my daughter likes these little breakfast bites. Muffins. Canned vegetables and fruit. I heard another YouTuber say that she's going to buy a case every time she goes there to help build up her food storage or her pantry, whatever you want to call it. But um, I don't have a lot of room so I thought that was a good idea to start doing that. So picked up a case of canned goods, a couple produce items, some spinach, some salad mixed, a couple bread items, four pack of, oh, an eight pack of hamburger buns, 
bread, bagels, applesauce, hummus, tea, sliced cheese, apple dried fruits, cranberries, raisins, coffee creamer, a little bit more produce, strawberries. Had to really look through them to see um, which ones were fairly decent. So um, had to pick through some of those. Those are pretty ripe, so we'll eat those first. Apples, plums, and peaches. All really good items at um, not, bra not a bad price. So this is my shopping experience for today. It's a lot more than what I normally buy, but I needed to stock up on a few things. Mainly meat. I had some produce, but could always use some more. And items for school lunches. Thank you. If you enjoy haul videos, please subscribe. I'll be back again soon.